Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you had a good weekend. It's Monday, so we're going to do a sales video. Again, not a great variety of stuff going out, but I thought I'd show you some things uh, anyway. You've seen most of these sort of things before, but there's one particular item which I'll save for the end, which I'll spend a little bit more time on, which is quite interesting. Uh, but here we go. So, uh, the first thing that we've sold uh, was these two tops Pokemon cards from the 90s. Um, these were, uh, this is obviously Goddish and Cubone. Pretty nice condition. Um, you know, not, not terribly expensive. £1.50 each, something like that, £2. Uh, next one is this uh, Episode 11 Charmander, the stray Pokemon. Uh, this is quite a cool Charmander card, actually. Quite a nice artwork on it from the anime. Uh, this is where they find him, where he's basically kind of dying on a rock. <laughs> and then they sort of nurse him back to life. Again, sort of similar price. Uh, we've got some more MetaZoo cards going out. These are actually from Cryptid Nations, first edition. Um, these are some land, you know, like Terrors and uh, Auras, which are kind of like lands from Magic. And there's a Pyroconnect Blast in here as well. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of the first edition of Cryptid Nation. They're quite hard to find these now. Um, I mean, you know, they only printed, you know, 25,000 booster boxes and, you know, there wasn't a great deal of uh, release event decks and all that sort of stuff. So even though these cards are commons, they're not in uh, a huge, huge supply. I mean, they, they weren't printed in the millions uh, like Pokemon was. Next one on uh, is this Charizard V. Uh, this is actually a, a, a promo, I think. Um, I forget which is actually from, uh, but it's a really nice Charizard, actually. I actually really like this one. I think this came in some sort of box or a tin, um, but really nice condition. As you can see, really nice centering as well. Uh, I think that was like 10, 11 pounds, something like that. Really nice card, so that was worth showing off. Uh, next up, we've got some Vermilion Bloodline uh, Unison Warrior Dragon Ball Z Super cards, uh, packs even. Um, these, I mean, I, I showed these off a little while ago. Someone else bought five packs, and it was actually our last boost, booster box. Um, and, you know, I don't actually want to break up our last booster box, I'd rather just get it sold. But uh, luckily someone else has decided to buy some more packs. I think there's maybe five, something like that left in the box. Uh, but they go up 15 pound. Uh, next up, we have this uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, anniversary box. This is the Vegeta one. Um, these are quite popular than last year. Uh, we're, we're sort of burning through the last of our stock. In fact, I think we've actually only got one more of these left. Um, but that's what's in there. Uh, you get a special anniversary pack. Uh, it's quite a cool box, uh, but yeah, we're just fire, you know trying to get rid of these now. Uh, I think we've got the one more left on the website, forty pound. Or you can, uh, if you want to join our box break, which is on Wednesday, uh, there's one of these up for thirty pound, and I think uh, it's, it's not the Vegeta one. There's one more left, um, but feel free to pick that up. Um, that was forty pound. I can't remember if I said that. Uh, next up, we have uh, these. These are an Anablock series, uh, pretty popular. Uh, obviously you've got Peach and Yoshi going out there. Uh, this is purchased by the same person. People tend to buy one, and it usually is the Yoshi one first, and then they end up coming back and buying the Mario, the Peach, the Bowser, and all of those. Uh, so these are quite actually quite popular items. Um, people tend to quite like these a lot. Um, yeah, you would have probably seen these before though. Uh, but the last item that I wanted to show off was just um, something that is actually quite interesting. And this is a um, piece of history, really, if you're into your video games. But this is a, a Binatone sort of sports TV game. Uh, back in the day, you would have basically plugged this into your TV. Um, this is before the day of, you know, the days of consoles and stuff. You plug this into your TV. Uh, you'd select which game you want. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there's basketball, squash, football, hockey, squash one, tennis, basket. I don't know if that's one or two player. Uh, grid ball. They're basically all the same game, but they just try and pass it off as different sports. It's basically just like Pong, you know, somewhere of batting the batting the, uh, the ball backwards and forwards. Um, but quite a primitive piece of technology. I mean, here's the scoreboard here. You didn't even have the scoreboard on the screen. It was literally just a, um, you know, you would literally just push that along <laughs> to keep score. Um, but yeah, very primitive piece of technology. Um, these are the joysticks. These would plug literally straight into the front like that. 
um, and they kind of look like this. One button, you just, you know, up and down, left and right, depending on which game you're playing. Um, two controllers there. This is all testing and working. So it's, uh, I think these, these came out in like the 70s, 1977, I think this particular model was. Um, you'd power this one by batteries. And inside, uh, you've actually got the battery compartment here. And they take these huge, chunky batteries. Uh, and then this is your TV cable. Just plugs into the TV aerial. Um, which my TV doesn't... I don't even think it has an aerial anymore. <laughs> I don't know, it must do, I guess. But, yeah, so these are quite hard to come by. Um, this isn't particularly expensive. We've got a lot, we've got a lot more on the, on the uh, website. Um, there's a Commodore one on there, which is pretty expensive. But this one went out for twenty pound. Um, again, I think it's, I think basically the the value of these really determined is determined by the su the success of that company today. You know, um, I mean there was a, there's a Commodore one which is pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, quite a cool item. I uh, hope you enjoyed sort of looking at this uh, the piece of history. Like I said, we've got a bunch more. Maybe I'll do a video of those. Um, show off the other ones to show sort of how many of these things actually were coming out i mean they were coming out from you know china america and um you know there were there was just loads of them not a lot of them survived and not a lot of them are even worth anything but occasionally you do find some that are binatone i'm not sure if this company is around anymore but it certainly was quite a big company back in the you know the 70s and the 80s um but yeah just a really nice item I thought uh, you'd like to see that. But yeah, hopefully hopefully the, uh, you enjoyed that. Uh, if you'd like to see more, leave us a like. Uh, drop us a subscription if you're not uh, subscribed yet. Uh, hopefully we will uh, see you at the box break on Wednesday. That'll be at 8 o'clock uh, evening on Wednesday this week. Um, that's kind of it. Come back tomorrow, there'll be another video. Uh, we've got some pickups coming, so there'll be another video of some pickups that we've got. Um, and we'll be showing those off. Thanks a lot for tuning in.